Oh, the Warriors are going to hit shots at some point. That's inevitable. Often it's the third quarter. That was the case tonight. They won that quarter by 10. I want to get your thoughts on their defense against Luka Doncic and the Mavericks in this game. Well, one of the things that I really enjoyed what they did, you know, they played a lot of one-on-one initially, but every time he got near the basket, the next guy was coming. They crowded him a lot on the offensive end one-on-one. They didn't let him go to the step back where he was able to clear some space. So I thought collectively they did a nice job by throwing different looks at him. They kind of threw him off balance a little. Yep. Andrew Wiggins got the primary assignment guarding Luka Doncic just as he did during the regular season. What did you make of, of the work he did? Listen, uh, I thought he was the, the most valuable player on the floor for Golden State. Steph was terrific as well, but I, I just felt like Wiggins accepted the challenge. It was almost as if they challenged him, the coaching staff, prior to this game to not let Luka do to them what he has done to everybody else. And he accepted that challenge. And I also thought he was aggressive offensively. That was not He took the most shots of anybody on the Warriors team tonight. And, and to me, that, that gave everybody confidence. Because, you know, you go into a game like that when you play with great players. I'm sure your teammates felt this way. They, they weren't worried about you. But it's when, you know, the other guys that you know you need to play well step up. That really kind of lifts everybody's confidence and momentum. You know what the great thing is what they did to it. Luca, you know he's going to get shots. You're going to get his shot off. But if you can make him uncomfortable with some of them shots and crowd him mm-hmm. a little more, and you saw that particularly in the second half, you know, and it started with, like you said, Wiggins and everybody kind of followed suit. So it made offensively him struggle a lot in the second half. By his standards, he didn't even take that many shots. Mm-hmm. He was 6 of 18 in this game, finished with only 20 points. Uh, seven boards, four assists, but turned it over seven times. Seven of the uh, 12 for Dallas in this game. You know, Jason Kidd has been pretty intent on making sure that the Mavericks take more threes than their opponents so far in the postseason. <laughs> they did that with Utah. Utah is a, a three-heavy team. Yeah. They still outshot them from three. Did it against Phoenix. They don't take as many threes. Tonight they got out 48 <laughs> Shots, only 11 of them fell. You know, some nights you're just not hitting shots. But what does that say to you about their offensive approach? Well, I, I think it says more about Golden State's defensive approach. Okay. I, I, do, I do know that they want to take those threes, but I thought Golden State did a great job of not letting them take a lot of rhythm threes. I thought the first quarter they got some good looks. Mm-hmm. I, I thought they got a lot of good ones. They, they weren't making them, and then I, I felt like they started pressing. Um, but I, I do think the fact that they shot the ones they won in that first quarter, that's what they'll focus on. Um, but, again, I go back to it was the force and the pace uh, and, and how intense and physical Golden State was. They were, they were like a step faster, quicker, yep. all around the board, and it just seemed to me that Dallas couldn't catch up to them in terms of they, – they, I know they were prepared – but they, when you play that slow, it makes you think that they're thinking a lot and they're yeah. not doing the things that are necessary to make them competitive in this series.